Hello everyone, this is going to be a mediumship interview with Kylie Rodney. This is an energy reading. It's all alleged, my opinion, not fact. Hi, Kylie. It was a whole operation that night, wasn't it? Pay attention. Everyone was paying attention to you. Mm -hmm. um, that's why everybody was there. Yes. Was it just you or were there other people they were meant to be doing this experiment on? Man-made disaster. One. It wasn't just you, but it's like you were the only one that it ended up happening to. Because they wanted to take something from you, what? They wanted you to OD? No. What's this card for? They wanted you to stay alive because they wanted to take advantage of you, but instead you OD'd. Yep, not able to stay for the meeting. All right, um, what else do you want to talk about? Some real information about the devil, okay. Mm. You're either trying to say how they put it in your drink or like why it's something about what was in your drink. Oh, to make you docile so they could, um, secret space program. Yep. So they could keep you docile so they could do keep it a secret timeline issue the timeline issue is that they didn't have enough time because they gave you too much because they wanted to make sure you had enough so that you would not remember but they gave you too much yes um Let me go get my cat really quick, one second. Okay. Um, marriage, wedding in reverse. What would you like to say about your friends that were not truly on your side? Hands not tied. I didn't see it coming. How did they convince you to go when you didn't want to go? Collapse in reverse. They told you that you'd be able to fix something. What? They lured you there telling you that you were going to expose someone for something they were doing wrong or like catch someone in the act of something. Higher perspective of, oh.
You were supposed to be able to see the truth about some kind of group. What group, though? Oh, your ex. Somehow, someway, they lured you to this place, either because they said your ex was going to be exposed for something or the truth was going to come out or you were going to learn something that was going to help you move forward, something like that. What, what was it exactly? Drowning? Who's drowning? You. They wanted to show you that you were in a better place than your ex and somehow, some way, this party was going to prove it to you. Oh, okay. Hmm. Seeing disgusting levels of betrayal. Oh, yeah, that, yep. Okay. Um, okay, let's see one second. I have to clean these up real quick. Um, so she's referencing the court case that's currently happening with, um, uh, Ryan, uh, I don't remember his name, but the, the, the family is suing a YouTuber for talking about the case or, or, or defamation or something like that. She wants to reference something about like, oh, isn't it funny that people will go after him, but they won't actually go after the people who created all these false narratives and stories? Yes. That's confirmation. Now what she has to say about it is... No one's going to question how the tow truck, tow truck driver saw me in one place and then my car ended up somewhere where I should have left if the tow truck driver had seen me. I don't get this card. What does it mean? Bad. Multiple faces, but one face because it's in reverse one bad face oh they need to close the case out by giving it a oh we better not talk about this anymore because that will happen to you what's happening to ryan oh mind control exposed like you basically she's saying that the reason that they're going after him so hard is so that nobody else questions or talks about the case and it can be closed out yes Right. Here I am doing a whole reading on it. All right, that's good. Um, let's see. Is there anything? And I'm gonna be a little careful here. Oh, secret space program. I was gonna say, is there anything you'd like to say about your mom? Apparently there is. What would you like to say about your mom? Market manipulation. Um, how do I ask this? Was it before, during, or after when she uh, switched sides? So you were found in the water and that's in reverse. So she had already switched sides before this happened. Smoke and mirrors. Why? putting out the fire she had to get out of trouble for something or needed help with something and somehow got roped in with the wrong people yes you're telling me that's it stop there gotcha all right um
Anything else you'd like to talk about? I don't know if you're going the direction of why this didn't have to happen or what's going to happen now. Which one? Oh, didn't have to happen. Okay. It didn't have to happen because they didn't even end up getting out of it the reason that they did it for. It's just and it was all waste. It was a complete and utter waste. She's saying communication, man-made disaster was a complete and utter waste. Secrets out. She's calling them a bunch of fools. She's calling them a bunch of fools. Um the mighty they they hide behind the power they think they have not realizing that they're gonna have to answer for it eventually anyway they didn't learn their lesson um what can you describe as what your soul lesson was from this seeing things for what they are and not what you want them to be. I talked the other day about how certain people are able to look at others and like, it's like you see their higher self, even though they're stuck in that ego version. And she was seeing everyone from the, you can be this, you could be, I see your light, I see your healed version, but you're not there yet, but I'm seeing you from that version because I want the best for you. I want to believe the best in you. That the lesson was that you can't always do that because some people just aren't ready to step into that role. They're trapped. What was your friend's lessons? Oh, the card we started with. The whole operation didn't work. Living with what they did forever. Um, constantly feeling like they have to run from it for the rest of their lives. Yes. But what was their, what was their lesson before? Like before they had the consequences, what, what was the lesson that they, if they would have learned, they wouldn't have made the choices that they made? Betrayal. Okay. Just... She's saying a-holes, but snakes. Portal. They are not who they pretend to be. Not who they say they are. Okay. Way worse. Way worse. Because they got themselves wrapped up in something that they can't get out of because they were greedy and didn't see the bigger implications or consequences that would come from their choices. Yeah, they give their power away. She's saying, good luck getting it back because you're not going to be able to now. You're in too deep. Oh, wow. Because they were children and it's going to follow them into adulthood. She's like, you'll never be able to escape what you did to me. Coming out of the woods. What's coming out of the woods? Oh. Oh. Kylie's coming out of the woods. Her, she's saying, my memory will haunt them forever. They know what they did. Bye, grandparents. Release, grandparents, regret. Oh, all of them together will regret it after the release of what? Clean up. Something's going to happen eventually, but it's not anything we're going to find out about. Like, they're going to get their karma, but it's not legal karma. What is it? Being exposed. No light at the end of the tunnel. 
inside. Kylie's at work to expose and clean up the truth, but how? No drama, so we're not gonna hear about it. Oh. Just things happening in their personal life. It's like you, you aren't seeing the legal consequences, but it's almost like, it's almost like they, they're gonna wish that they would rather just get legal consequences because what, what's happening that they're trying to escape from their karma, but the, it's finding them. That's almost like it's worse than, okay, just take me to jail. It's almost like they have to live by certain rules forever and say and not say certain things forever because of this. It's like they're in some kind of like deal with the devil now type thing. Those who have information about this, it's like they're locked into something and they don't realize now how bad that's going to be down the line. It's like 24 seven surveillance on them. Almost like this is the story you're gonna tell and for the rest of your life, your house is gonna be bugged so that if you say anything ever, we know and you have to agree to it. No private, no privacy. Password, end of the road. Direct. Um, and with two of these, TV or your phone glitches when I'm sending signals. Glitches. Glitches. I've always loved you and always will. Never forget that. Everlasting love never dies. Don't be afraid. Glitches. Glitches part water. Glitches. Don't be afraid. Everlasting love never dies. There's someone that she's not mad at that was like that. Who is it? Not a snake. No abuse, neglect, government. It's like, it's like so, somehow, some way the investigator or something, someone's hands were tied and they couldn't do the right thing. Why? Because everybody be talking about what? Fear of what? Secret weapon? the real reason or whatever they're studying behind whatever they put in your drink. That's why they're trying to distract with the YouTuber getting sued. Oh. Basically, anything to get the narrative to stay away from 
what could have been in her drink that would have caused this because that would open a big can of worms that they're not ready to deal with. I think that's it. Please remember this is an energy reading. It's all alleged, my opinion, not facts. Have a good day.